Welcome Minecraftians. Today I'm going to teach you guys and show you guys how to play Minecraft Java Edition on your Android device. Yeah, let's jump in and start playing Minecraft Java Edition on Android. This is going to be an awesome experience. What's going on mobile gamers? Today I'm going to share something really cool with you guys because I found this out a few weeks back and I have wondered this for many of years because I am an Android developer and they don't have a specific game, well now they do, for Minecraft Java Edition. And yes, you could play it with a controller which is pretty pretty sick to be honest, like I like Minecraft. I like Minecraft Bedrock Edition, and you can play it with this controller as well, but Java Edition is just so much different, and it's I love it. And now we have this application that is literally, if you type in Minecraft Java, it's called Pojav Launcher, it's like Minecraft Launcher, and you install this, you log into your account, which I'm going to be doing in this video, and you can play Minecraft Java Edition on your Android device get a controller I suggest that otherwise you can use a mouse and keyboard with your Android devices as well if you have a USB-C dongle that has USB-C port or USB ports on it so that you can play with a mouse and keyboard which is gonna be something that I might try later on but I already have a computer for that so I don't see a point and you can play with a controller they have controller support which is pretty sick I'm using the Razer Kishi 2 for this I was so excited when I actually found this out now, at first, it's going to get a little confusing. They're going to download a whole bunch of files, and then you're going to have to create a profile to actually play this, and that's what I'm going to show you here today. So this one's going to be latest release is what I'm going to name this one, latest release. And you can go back to, like, the original release. So you can select the release that you want. You can go to snapshots, old beta, old alpha. You can select the release number that you want to actually play all the way up to release number one. And I'm just going to go with the latest release, which is 1.193. Um, like I said, you can go with the snapshot releases. They have all of those. This is just literally loading off of the Minecraft. I don't know where, but they're loading it off of something. And yeah, don't worry about this setting. I just clicked it because and custom path. Now this custom path is just where your Minecraft data is saved and your renderer so this renderer is different for many of devices so mine is the s22 ultra this device is super awesome and i'm going to be using 1.8 as my java runtime you might have to mess around with these settings on your device i'm going to test this on my wife's device as well she has the s20 uh, uh fe edition i think it's called now that i've saved that i'm going to click play now it's going to ask you to log into your account so no saved accounts pop up so I'm gonna log into my Microsoft account here and I'm gonna be right back. And yes, you have to have the paid version of Java on your Microsoft account for this to work. So I'm gonna do that and I will be right back with you. All right, so once you successfully logged in, you'll get a notification saying that you've logged in successfully, just like so. Now I'm gonna click play. Now it might seem slow at first for the very first time that you play this, it's gonna download a few things and install a few things in the background. So once that's done, we will actually get to play Minecraft Java Edition on our Android, which is pretty, pretty awesome. Okay, so now it's loading. Looks pretty amazing. It's loading right up. Now you're gonna be presented with this little menu here. And there's a whole bunch of different stuff here. So you have your debug screen that you will be able to press when you want to actually see everything in your, um, like your, your frames per second and all that stuff and all your other data. Now I'm going to change the UI a little bit because it's a little bit small to me. So I'm going to go to my options. I'm going to go to video settings. And this is where you can change your actual resolution and everything so that if it's running a little bit slow on your device, then you can change this to make it run a lot better. Now, my render chunks, I'm gonna do, I think I can render up to six chunks, and I'm gonna do a simulation distance of eight chunks. And my frame rate, I'm gonna just set it to unlimited. My graphics, I'm gonna leave it at fast. Uh, chunk builder threaded is the best option 
for my device at least. I haven't tested out all the other ones, honestly. And V-Sync, I like to turn that on. Now my GUI scale, that's where I wanna actually change it to see the actual screen a little bit better because I'm a little bit blind, not really, but um, yeah, so that's basically that. And yeah, you can use your controller. There's a little mouse icon that shows up when I use my left D-pad or my left um, joystick, I mean. Now, you can change your entity distance, your entity shadows, particles decreased, uh, clouds too fancy. Maybe you can change it to fast so that you're rendering faster. And all of your crosshair, all that stuff, like you can change all this stuff whenever you want to, of, of course, but this is how I like it. And it looks pretty good. So that's basically the settings for your video. Now your controls, you can set this up however you want. I'm gonna leave it at default because it has it already set up for me and I'm going to click done. Now I'm going to click this GUI button. Now that gets rid of that, all that on screen buttons and everything. And I'm going to go to single player. Now I haven't tested this for multiplayer only because I haven't really jumped into multiplayer on anything else yet. I'm going to go to hard mode and yes, you can play any mode that you want to. And then you just name your world. So this is where you have to click the GUI button and then click the keyboard. So that the keyboard pops up sometimes it doesn't pop up for whatever reason <laughs> but yeah it's it's a little bit a little bit finicky in a, in a sense but um my keyboard i don't know why it's not popping up here let's go try to do this again click keyboard and yeah it's it's a little bit buggy sometimes but if you can get that keyboard to pop up which i have had it done before um then you can change the world name obviously you can change your world options but i'm just going to create a world so you guys can actually see it running now my device handles this pretty well um it does lag a little bit at the beginning it's a little bit slow and then it just kind of buffers itself out and threads itself out so that it'll run so as you can see here it's loading pretty fast some devices might take a little bit longer depending on your specs of your device and if you know anything about the s22 ultra it's a pretty beast phone and it's pretty expensive still and it is going to load this game almost flawlessly to my likings at least and it's it's awesome i'm just going to say that a lot <laughs> so let's jump in and play a little bit of minecraft and i'll let you see how it works out All right, so we're loaded in, and like I said, at first it's kind of a little bit, a little bit glitchy, but you can go to your debug screen. You can actually see your frames per second. Uh, right now, I think it's it's hard to see. It's got 30 frames per second right now, and I probably could change this a little bit better if we loaded all this data a little bit differently. And let me double check something else here. So it's going up 46. And that's because it's trying to render everything in the background to our likings. And then if we go out of this actual screen and we touch the screen for a second. It's going to allow us to play the game. So I'm wondering. If it's just glitching out because I have. Let's pull this out for a second. I have my screen recorder running at the same time. So it's it's bugging out a little bit. <laughs> so I'm gonna go back out and go back into the game. Like all these other buttons are working, but this button's not working for some reason. So let's save and quit to the title and then we'll go back into it and try it again. There we go. All right, there was just a little bug or whatever, but like I said, you can play it with your controller and it's running pretty good like it's it's not too buggy it's not too laggy and this world is loaded in with a whole bunch of entities and stuff and when they say the entity shadow like you can get rid of all that stuff to make it render okay but it's it's rendering pretty good it, like i said i have my screen recorder running on the background as well so that's gonna cause a little bit of delay for certain things but when i'm playing this without that playing in the background it it plays really really well and i'm actually impressed by this there was that little delay there with the the controller i don't know why that happened but um maybe that was just because i was messing around with the settings while it was still trying to render everything in but 
the controls are awesome. Like playing Minecraft Java Edition with a controller, that is awesome. And playing on your Android is pretty freaking awesome as well. And yes, if you have a game file on your computer, you can transfer your game file to your Android. So say you wanted to play this in your living room on your couch or something, and you have a really good Android device to play it on, you can do that. I've tested it. It works. It's awesome. It's it's really easy to do. And if you guys want me to do a video about that, I can do a video about that as well. Or maybe I will just do it anyways. But um, yeah, it's something that's pretty simple to do. And we have like our inventory buttons and everything too. So the inventory button is the X. And yeah, you can see how you can make your, your crafting. And it's, it's basically the same controls as your um, uh, Bedrock Edition. It's... This is, I don't know, this is awesome. I love this game, and I like Java Edition over Bedrock Edition now. I've been playing Bedrock Edition for quite a while, for a few years now, and then I found out that Java Edition was available on this, and I play it on my phone periodically, more on my computer. And if you guys don't follow my channel, follow my channel, subscribe, because I play live every Saturday on Java Edition. And we are two weeks into this series where last week I went to the nether and that was scary. Hey, look, another portal. Cool. So that is it, guys. I hope you guys enjoy. Go download this. Go test it out. Set up your settings however the way you want. I've tested this on a couple of the devices already. And I haven't tested on that S20 Ultra, that S20 uh, FE phone yet. But like I said, it's, it's pretty awesome. And yeah, see, a little bit of lag. But that's just because I have this green recording software running in the background and it glitches out a little bit with that but otherwise have fun enjoy minecraft java edition on your android bye, -bye.